Hey guys, Rennie here with Off Grid Trek. I just wanted to take the opportunity. I was out for a ride today just to clear my head for this evening. Uh, and then just talk about what happened in Lebanon today and how that pertains to those of us um, that own portable power stations, basically. Just my thoughts on it. Take, take what you want from it. You know, dissect that and decide what's best for yourself. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, a bit of a sore throat. I caught a couple bugs in the throat while I was riding. Uh, but either way, um, to me, that's a bit of an eye-opener. IMAX Military, IMAX Telecommunications. We used to uh, play a lot of interesting war games um, that revolved around certain things. Some of it w was about this. And when I got out of the military, I, I contracted to a satellite communication company and we sold to three-letter entities. And either way, stuff like this, uh, it's it's happening now. And it's very this th these type of events these cyber attacks like what we just saw in lebanon here uh earlier today with all of those pages going off this is something that it, it's, it's a real threat to be blunt it's a real threat how this pertains to portable power stations or solar generators and this is what i wanted to bring up is pretty much all of the makes and models on the market right now have wi-fi or bluetooth that way you can connect your app uh you can you know from your phone see what's going on if you're you know inside the whole house and it's in the garage or what have you're in another room or even if you're in another city you can see what's going on with your power station that's positive the negative to that means is now they're susceptible to cyber attacks so there's two things i want to bring up regarding that um, i did do another video and i'll make sure there's a link to it um, the afri portable power stations uh, we brought those on for a couple of reasons uh, one was the price uh, definitely the warranty they offer is, is better than, than industry standard. Um, and not only that, they don't have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. And I brought them on. That was one of the main reasons I brought them on. And plus, they're, they're a very good product for what they are. Like every product out there for portable power stations, there's pros and cons, definitely. Uh, there's no specific cookie cutter way to provide power for everybody's needs. There's not one niche or one product that fits all, you know, everybody's Every, the thing that everybody wants. But I do think that one of the strong points about the AFRI power stations, and I'll have links to them in our webs uh, below, is the fact they don't have Wi-Fi. They don't have Bluetooth. There's absolutely no way that anybody can hack those for you. Um, it's like we've all seen videos of lithium batteries on um, uh, e-bikes or vehicles, different areas of the world where they explode and the fire on those... They're horrendous. Like they could literally portable power station as an example with the amount of batteries that are in there, you could start your house on fire. Uh, it, it's a fire that it takes quite a bit to to put that out and not your traditional. Um, it wouldn't be as easy as throwing water on it because it's a lithium battery pack going off and it's gone through my head. What if, you know, the nefarious people, for lack of a better term, decide to at one point in time hack you know, one specific brand of power station. I'm not going to say a name because I don't want to sound like I'm picking on any of them, but one of the specific brands one day, then the next brand the next day. And they know all the people that prepared for, you know, hurricane season or civil unrest or whatever it might be, have these in their homes and all of a sudden they could just go up in flames. Seeing what happened in Lebanon, this shows this is actually a realistic threat. And again, I'm not trying to fear-based sell. I'm just trying to give logical uh sound information based on my experience and my th thought process on this afri is a way around that if you're looking for a power station that they're very good power stations they're definitely priced right they have a great warranty um i think they're a really good bang for the buck for what they offer if you already have a portable power station or you you're dead set on getting another one definitely go with your gut feeling i always tell my customers you don't have to, like, I'll give you my opinions, but go with your gut feeling on what's best for yourself. If you already have a portable power station, and you're looking for a way to protect it, we have Faraday bags. We can, we can hold as large as an EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 in the Faraday bag, so that's easy enough to do. I'll have links for that, links for the Afri in the bottom. But I just wanted to say, based on what happened today in Lebanon, we're now seeing that cyber attacks are a real threat. Anything with Wi-Fi um, or Bluetooth, ways to access the back door to get in, uh, you'll want to protect those. I have multiple solar generators or power stations, different brands in my basement. All of them are in Faraday bags. So at this point in time, until I pull them out, they're not hackable because they're in Faraday bags. 
So to me, that makes me sleep a little bit better at night. I do have AFRI power stations. I'll still put them in Faraday bags because just in case if there was some sort of nuclear event or solar flare, it just makes sense. But there's less of a chance or there's no chance of a cyber attack on those. So I just wanted to give you my two cents on that. Um, yeah, it's just, yeah, every day our, our world seems a little more interesting. So just, you know, be safe, make logical decisions on what makes sense for you. Don't fear-based sell or fear-based buy. Um, cause there's a lot of, you know, a lot of YouTube influencers that are doing that. And it's, it kind of really, it's, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't agree with it. Um, but yeah, just, uh, be safe guys. If the Afri power stations make sense to you, feel free to reach out to us or you can order from our website. If our Faraday bags make sense to you, we have those in stock as well too. Everything's in stock, ready to ship, both in Canada and the US and, and Europe as well. Just the power stations we can't ship over the ocean. Okay, other than that, yeah, this is my uh, view. I'm about to head out and get back and do a little bit more work here. Have a great day, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.